Try to lay your wing out right there, and you just run off. Kite it and run off that. You're being, are you being serious? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a terrible idea. Boy, yeah. I understand. So we just made it to Austria. Austria? Yeah. Y'all. What do you think? What do you know about Austria? Nothing. I think the sound of music was made here. Let me hear your sound of music. The hills are alive. Don't sing anymore, babe. Okay. I love you. You okay? <laughs> My favorite food is probably Taco Bell. So I made a double decker here. Uh, this is my version of a double decker, what it should have been. That's where it's at. That'll do. Uh, English? No. English? Papa Pot. We're, we're, we're about to leave. We just had uh, breakfast. Schutzgebiet. Schutzgebiet. Naturschutzgebiet. Naturschutzgebiet, Papa Pot. Camping. Camping verboten. Ah, camping. Oh, okay, okay, okay we'll, yeah. we'll leave. We're leaving, yeah. We're leaving. All right, what are you doing? All right, we are here in Austria, somewhere in the middle of it, on the right side. And we're gonna go climbing here at this climbing place I found that's on the way to the ice cave before making dinner. So we're doing niche for Steinmaus. Jamie led it just a minute ago. It looks pretty hard. He struggled with it, so I'm excited. It should be it should be a good one. And um, I'm gonna clean it. And what does that mean? Clean. I'm gonna clean it, which means I'm gonna take the bolts, the um, the gear out of the wall, quick so that draws. can be a, tr a quick draw, so it can be a true top rope. So the rope's not rubbing all over the walls. Keep the rope nice and good. Yeah. So we just got to... Uh, inst uh. <laughs> Eis Reisenwald. Eis Reisenwald. And uh, we're going up to the cave. Uh, you can take a gondola for $24, or you could just do the 90-minute hike. Uh, it looks like about an 1,800-foot hike, so... Ain't no biggie. We're gonna do the hike, and um, Freedom's going with today. Are you excited to go, Freedom? I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited to go today with you guys. Oh wait, you're a lady. I'm so excited to go with you guys. I can't wait. I'm such privileged puppy. I hiked up about a thousand feet in the last 15 minutes. We're doing pretty good, maybe 20. Minutes. Um, What's going on, babe? How do you think? I sighted the, the biggest ice cavern in Europe. Place right. in the world. In the world. Which same, one is it? Same thing. It says in the world on the website. Okay. Uh, this was discovered in the like eight, late 1800s. First guy summited it in 1913. And here we are, fortunate enough to get a little light up show of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's dope. So, the first guided tour will visit us in this cave was in the year 1900. That's pretty cool. The tunnels in the way. Go for you, go. Thank you for your visit. That was awesome. What do you guys think? That was epic. I've never seen an ice cave, cave like that. Yeah. Coolest cave ever. Biggest ice cavern in the world. <laughs> Sick. That was not bad. And apparently, the second largest ice cave is also in Austria. So we're going to go out and get warmed up. Look at that view right now. It's pretty epic. Okay, good morning. We're just packing up camp right now. This is what it looks like when the van's all getting packed up we have to stack all the bags up in there all the wings pretty much climbing gear wing wing jamie's bag wing 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 wings target the whole top is full of toys as well surfboards but we keep everything pretty tidy freedom always has her bed you can see how i level out last night and the back of the van Santa's on her phone jamie uses the tarp she handed me the chocolate freedom is eating her she just had soft food she's a happy puppy and this is kind of our uh, kitchen so we have the stove, ice just we keep food in, dishes, pretty simple. We keep it pretty basic and trash bag. And what's more important is where you get out to, I think. 
Uh, it's more important that we find uh, beautiful places to stay. You know, where you sleep, you're just sleeping, but it's what you wake up to is what matters, right? Right now, we're just walking into the Terran Spa. We're in Austria, and uh, it's a little fogged out, as you can see. We were gonna try to go fly this morning, but uh, it didn't work out in our favor. The winds are moving about 35 miles an hour on the top of the mountain, so that's not realistic. So we found this spa online, and uh, we're gonna go give it a check out. You can see people up top up there hanging out. It's about 38 bucks to use all of their stuff. Um, we're pretty excited about it. You know, we like to get massages periodically and that's usually about 50, 60, 80 bucks a person. That's only for about an hour. So if you think about it for our body, for as much sports and hiking and stuff as we do, this is a pretty good deal for even 40 bucks for three hours. So, you know, plus we get a shower out of the deal, right? Here we go. Extreme sliding. You got neck, huh? Same thing, hold on. Hold on, hold on, you wait for them. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go ahead. <laughs> 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 All right, so essentially we went over there and the prices are pretty reasonable. And they had like a kind of a little buffet section, which was like pork cutlets, chicken, and sausages, and uh, fries, and all the vegetables. It was eight dollars, and um, she said I could have as much as I want on, as long as it was one plate. Mm -hmm. It was up to here. We've been working on it for a little while, but that's definitely the deal here. It's a good deal here. And then Sandra got baked potato. Baked potato, bacon, onion. And they did not spare. Sour so cream. when you come here, when you come out here, you need to treat yourself. And treat yourself. Mm -hmm. You just get a big old bowl of that. And you can still be thrifty. All right, it's 7:45 in the morning, and we are in Austria. It's our first line. We're gonna go try to fly. The crew is up and about. Everybody is ready. Uh, we got about a three and a half hour hike ahead of us. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Anything you guys want to tell the camera before your last day on Earth? I'm not acknowledging that. <laughs> exactly. Well, I haven't looked to see there's a different landing for over here. But look, those flags are going up that way. Yeah, what? Those flags are pointing this way. They're right, up that south. way. That, they didn't say that. That's south, motherfucker. The other direction is south. This is south. <laughs> no, you said that that was south. The back side. What? You said the back side was south. This south, is south. South. You said the winds this were coming. This way south. Didn't he say the winds were coming over the back? I had the map upside down before. <laughs> <laughs> you said that was the right oh. way. I fucking got the shit figured out uh, now. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. oh, it took me two minutes to figure out the fucking which way is south. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> That's a lot of talking out of your mouth for two minutes. So van life, this is where we stayed. Jamie had his tent right there. You guys can see all the snow-capped mountains. If I hold still, we're gonna be flying down this line through here, landing down at the bottom of the valley. All the snow-capped mountains, it's pretty beautiful. We drove up here last night. Got here about 8.39 at night. Just made this our little camping spot and now we go for a big hike. Cool. Anyways, y'all have a good day now. Let's see what happens. I feel pretty good about this hike, pretty good about this flight. Oh, on the summit, even salami. Are you excited that you made it to one of the seven summits? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Concerned you're not gonna launch off here? Yeah. We're gonna go look over there, see if we can launch that. No. Cool, I think we found a spot we're gonna go. This is pretty good right here, babe. You just kind of stand here on this cliff edge, uh, just kind of reverse it, and then just run through this gap. I'm talking about laying your wing out right there, and you just run off, kite it, and run off that. Are you being, are you being serious? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a terrible idea. Boy, I understand. That's my probably the steepest launch I've done. Like, um, you know, not like a nice gradual slope. But you got a good headwind. Mm -hmm. So you'll kite it. You don't have to, you know, you can stand over there or here, right here. Number four launched a steep hill. Control, control, back, 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 back. 
No control, why is it? What are you falling? What are you doing? You're holding the rears. Then. You're holding your rears. Yeah, you're holding your rears. Whoop! Sit down. Why? Why did you brake check it like that? I don't give a fuck. Like zero fucks whether you launch off this exit or not. Can you do it? Yes. If you're afraid though, and it's impairing your judgment, then hey, like that's a great launch down there. Why, why, I just wanted us all to go up to the exit together and see the, uh, and, and summit this mountain. If we, nobody knew if we were gonna be able to launch up here. We didn't know. You don't like it. If you, if everything in you is telling you to go down there, then go down there. I like free flying when it's not sketchy, when I like to launch into landing. Right. Okay, so just go do it down there to go be safe and have a, a launch that you like. Don't even bother kiting it. Just put it away. We're, we're going to hang out up here. We'll wait till you get down there. And uh, I'll buzz the tower. Where are you going to launch? I'm going to launch right here. Kisses. So to recap, that was some real life or death shit. You know, behind us, if she would have fell back there, she's pretty much dead. And, uh, you know, she pretty much had to nail this takeoff. She almost got plucked over there, but you know, remember at the end of the day, babe, it's about trying and, and giving something everything you have and overcoming adversity. You don't always have to win, you just have to try. That's all that matters. Give it everything you got, and you did. I truly believe you did. I'm proud of you, I love you. And we go back and watch all this footage. <sighs> some shit. Anyways, check this out. <laughs> that was so sick! Oh, you mean like you basically just planted, plowed in the yeah, ground? Yeah, my foot down and it just had nothing. You had nothing? I'll, had put nothing. Your, I'll put your wing away for you. Huh? I'll put your wing away. Why don't you come on up here? Thanks. Oh, I had a struggle flight today. I uh, struggled. My, my foot was fucked up and then went to a launch that was, I'd never done a launch like that before. It's just, it's just steep. And uh, 
wasn't able to do it then I got frazzled and on the way down I get my period <laughs> which I mean I, I was PMSing yesterday so I knew it was coming but it was just like the worst fucking timing ever <laughs> there's some dirt on your face but still from where you hit I thought your face. I could I could well at least I can land stand it up and do well at least I'll end it on a good note I didn't <laughs> it's, yeah once one thing goes wrong I've noticed it's like a snowball effect it's like everything goes wrong so, yeah. I'm Good just... job, baby. Yeah, I'm glad you had a great flight and a great hike. I had a great time hanging out with you. Love you, babe. <laughs> that was a, a hell of a hell of a launch. Oh, that was intimidating. That was good. That was crazy. But we made it. That was an epic adventure. That was so sick. Oh, it's what so an dope. Epic line. What an epic line. Oh man. One day, uh, found this line. One day, one line. All the ingredients. A great, sick hill to climb. Great landing. Good hike. That was awesome. All right, so what's going on, buddy? We're gonna send it. What are we doing today? Speed flying. It's your first time. First time ever. Are you excited? Oh yeah. A little death. A little confused today. with all these strings over here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Remember, you can help us set a world record and fly a parachute in every country of the world by hitting the like button, subscribing, and turning on notifications. And also, if you like free stuff, we work with brands and are always giving away freebies. You can click here to enter. See, See you, you at next the next episode. episode.